quite shallow, and Spirit went around the wall that is placed on the blue bar. So while Tarzan is able to go to his blue, only his Gromp is stolen away, and Spirit's looking for more. Yep, Sonic Wave should land here. Lands onto the blue buff, meaning that Tarzan stays alive. He's got no mana. The Undertoes aren't going to be freely flowing towards this uh, blue buff. This Spirit, he's got the safeguard. He's got the advantage. And he's Tarzan looking for it here, but Spirit's going to land the Q. That yeah. means that Tarzan, not a lot of options, because he doesn't have a lot of mana. The red buff's ticking. He has the level advantage. Looking for another Q. Ooh. Doesn't get it. Flash. Way better than Spirit. When's Sora gonna buy us Force of Nature? Oh, I don't know. Is he playing Mordecai? Then? No, not all Munda. Okay, this is also a shame for the Afrika Freaks. Oh, okay! I take it all back. Tucson just going to dash his way out. Flash oh! True Jump Run! But the damn stopwatch! You're talking about perfect timing. That's it! He's completely aware of the scenario, and meanwhile, Keen's doing the cannon thing. Yep, and Tucson's gonna turn up. He wants another highlight play, potentially on the top side. It's gonna get interrupted, as there's the ultimate utilized sword. He's got nowhere to oh. go. Gets the oh. beast, it's not enough! And Keen locks down the 1v1 that was so close for Sword. Get dunked, says Keen. The Three top lane. The Lee Sin started it. This play kind of ends the early game that Griffin wanted to set up, just not happening. The interrupt on the Shen ultimate is why Trogath Goes for the emergency all in. Beast is there, but nice flash away out of range of the Vorpal Spikes. Play. Takes him down. With He's getting charged up. He's going to be taking down this outer turret as well, getting the local gold available for him and even denying all of the creeps underneath this turret as well. What remains to be seen? A trouble bubble out of nowhere. It's a nice start. Yep, landing onto the cannon is great news there as well as Trovi almost just explodes him and Sword's going to eat him for dinner. It's all too easy. And now Spirit might be gifted. Trovi. Gonna be able to get another bubble to land, but in the meantime, we've got the Afrika Freak starting off this Baron. Are they actually gonna be able to lock this down? Because trinket. everyone's on the Are bottom they gonna side. Check it? They haven't checked it yet. They don't know. Nope. And really once, smart. Once again, Afrika Freaks. Like they had a great gank, but Afrika had the perfect answer. This is the flashy thing to focus on. This is a significant outplay. Hitting that trouble bubble there. I'm not talking about the amazing mechanics. It's just about. Where the game was at, it didn't feel like Griffin could make a move like this, but something out of nothing is what Zoe does best. They even get a second kill as Spirit doesn't have the ability to ward hop, so it just goes down. But the Baron is to play. They push up, they get another turret. The Siege comp from Griffin may never get to Siege Atlas. That's just the reality of where this game is at. They're being pushed in with a Siege. Towards Deadman's plate as his third item as well, as Griffin say, they're sick of it. They want to find a pick up here as Tucson just zoning everyone away. Doesn't have it though. And that's going to be the bubble landing and spelling the death of the ninja on the bottom side. Meanwhile, everything being taken. I actually really like AP Kaiser in a side lane if you're just waiting for that person to turn up to try and gank you or something like that because your Killer Instinct shield is so gigantic. But Kuro, he's caught out. The Olaf here as Tarzan has to press Ragnarok and run. Lahan's looking to make another play. Gets the flash and the cleanse out of Kuro. And now Griffin, they may have found their team fight. The rupture's there. The Shen gets eaten as now Spirit is just stopwatching in the middle of a oh. team fight. And Kuro gets exploded That's by so a well-placed paddle star. Kramer split pushing bottom side. He might be able to take this inhibitor. And there's no Baron for Griffin to try and turn onto. That's the problem. The Baron hasn't spawned. And that means they're not able to do anything to punish. Interrupt. Yep, Kramer not going to be able to get anything done here. But Sword can't exactly sure. fight this guy just yet. Doesn't have the feast, remember. But Tarzan available. He wants to get it. He takes down the one for one despite falling. Did Kramer. Well, Griffin are trying to make a creative play around the Baron. It's going to be easily spotted by Afrika. Yeah, Afrika said, yeah, you can't play our game. But Lahens. Yeah, Lahens actually looking for more. True Shot Barrage once again. Going to fly forward as Kuro. He's ignited. The ultimate's going to fly forward. Oh, the axe going to be dodged. And now Kramer getting free autos, Tarzan too far forward, gets expertly baited by Kuro who eventually does fall, but a two for one, you'll take that as the Afrika Freaks and Keen says that once again, he wants to win the game by himself. They get Sometimes damn close to one and Afrika Freaks get Baron number two. The Afrika taking more from them. This feels like a game where Griffin are trying their best to iterate. Game one was the best sign of that, right? Where they played a comp that didn't play to their usual strengths, Great sidesteps by Koro in this pick. But then by game three, they have to fall back on something. They're coming back after a loss in a best of five. In a best of five, they're the ones with the LCK experience. All right, Koro gonna dodge out of the way of Lahens with his flash. 
Oh, Hen's also used his flash as well, but I think the cow is just dead. Kramer, Killer Instinct got him in there, and Nexus turrets now falling on the bottom side. The Nexus not going to be able to be taken just yet as the inhibitor does respawn, but immediately gets taken again by Keen. Tarzan, nothing he can do against Tucson, which is a huge problem as Kramer gets it with the last bolt of his Q eaten by Sword afterwards. But now, can they actually get anything done as Tarzan will get ripped to shreds by the slicing Maelstrom and the auto attacks of Cannon, who flashes after Chovy as well. And Sword, he's tanky. He ain't tanky enough. And Afrika looking to put themselves 2-1 in this series as Nexus number two will go, sorry, inhibitor number two will go down. The Nexus, sure to follow. As you can see, it's desperation from Chovy and just doesn't know what to do to try and win this game. There's nothing they can do, Atlas. It's gonna be Afrika Freaks going up 2-1 on the red side. Griffin can't get the victory. A bit of attempt to try to clear him away, but it's not gonna work. Nope, Nexus is gonna go down now and Afrika all they need. is a red side win to get themselves towards Worlds, definitely, but also the LCK Championship against KT that's gonna be in about three weeks. Two games, two match points for Worlds and the Grand Final for Afrika Freaks. The Elite Four is what they were tasked with. Griffin would be number three out of four on the hit list. Really big stuff coming through from the side of Afrika Freaks. They're not going to get the pats of congratulations just yet, but the coaching staff is just keeping them hot, keeping them reared up and ready to go for game number four. Griffin tried to fall back on the Cho'Gath. It got the groan, and unfortunately, we knew that if the timings in the early game weren't perfect, the Lee Sin could run away with it. He did, and everything fell into place for Afrika Freaks after that. I love the zoom out as you're watching the closeout, the old adage of, in space, no one can hear you scream. We couldn't <laughs> actually hear the skill shot sounds, but you saw the frustration of the Lehens dying in the top side as the turret died, as mid lane inhibitor died. It didn't matter if you were screaming or not, your team was gonna lose, and Griffin went down, and now faced two match points. Yeah, and Afrika Freaks now can hop over to the red side as well. The tennis idea that we had early on, it felt like this was the break point. You know, this is what the difference between a 6-1 set and a 6-5 set looks like when you get broken like this, it can mean that it all turns around. Or oh, in another simple tennis analogy, their service, which is in many ways yeah. the setup of choosing red side, was broken in this game. So serving for the win is Afrika Freaks in game number four. Can Griffin, once again, backs against the wall, find something new? They played that best of five this year, but that was a 3-1 victory. They went down 1-0 to MVP, and then 1-3-1 from there. Now it's must-win territory. There's so little experience.